14th meeting of the Regional Consultative Committee on Disaster Management, or RCC. 3rd to the 5th of December 2018, Kathmandu, Nepal. The Regional Consultative Committee on Disaster Management, RCC, mechanism seeks, seeks to promote the implementation of disaster risk reduction, DRR strategies, and share experiences and best practices, advance cooperative programs at regional and sub-regional levels, and provide guidance to the Asian Disaster Preparedness Center, or ADPC, on its future work and strategies. The RCC mechanism was established in 2000 by ADPC and its member countries, and ADPC serves as the secretariat to the RCC. With the overarching theme of policies and practices for coherence between global frameworks, the 14th RCC meeting, participants shared experiences and updates, discussed challenges and explored practical approaches and options for promoting a coherent implementation of the global frameworks at regional, national, subnational, and local levels. The meeting understood coherence as jointly strengthening resilience through processes such as mainstreaming, harmonizing, localizations, and alignment. As a follow-up on the commitments made at the 18th, uh, 2018 Asian Ministerial Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction, or AMCDRR, held in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, and to develop policies and practices which promotes coherence in the implementation and reporting of the global frameworks. We, the delegates of Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Cambodia, China, India, Indonesia, Jordan, Maldives, Mongolia, Myanmar, Nepal, Pakistan, Philippines, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Timor-Leste, and Vietnam, development partners and observers and participants from partner organizations reaffirm that a the rcc recognizes the value in enhancing coherence across policies institutions goals indicators and monitoring systems for implementing the global frameworks particularly the sendai framework for disaster risk reduction the agenda 2030 for sustainable development the paris agreement on climate change the agenda for humanity and the new urban agenda. B, the RCC is committed to promote partnerships at different levels and assisting countries in Asia and the Pacific to harness the benefits for sustainable development and resilience through disaster risk reduction, climate change adaptation, risk financing mechanisms, and risk-informed rural and urban communities. C, the RCC will further assist member countries in strengthening existing regional and national risk monitoring systems and enhancing capacities for better monitoring and reporting progress, particularly on the Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction and the related <coughs> sustainable development goals. Four, building on the established partnerships and the views expressed at the 14th RCC meeting, supported by the RCC Secretariat, we, the participants, therefore, call for enabling coherence through the provision of technical, technical support to member countries in the implementation of relevant policies, plans and practices of disaster risk reduction, climate change adaptation and resilient development frameworks at the regional, national, subnational and local levels, ensuring gender equal, pro-poor, right-based and inclusive approaches. Number two call upon development partners to support and invest in regional efforts for achieving practical coherence among the, global, uh, among the key global frameworks, including the initiation of peer-to-peer -peer learning, documentation of good practices, among others, based on priori priorities identified by RCC member countries. Three, encourage the RCC member countries to translate policies into practice and further strengthen linkages across sectors and line eight ministries for a more efficient implementation of the key global frameworks at national, subnational, and local levels. Four, promote regional cooperation for coherence and inclusiveness in achieving the targets of the Sendai framework and the sustainable development goals at national and local levels through development data, through developing data and information management system and capacity development of government officials, amongst others. Five, encourage the RCC member countries to actively promote women leadership in disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation, including women's representation at the RCC and other regional and global fora. 
Six, encourage all stakeholders, including the private sector, media, the research and academic and scientific community, to support governments in the RCC member countries in strengthening risk governance. Seven, support stakeholders in coherent planning and implementation of activities under different global frameworks for enhancing resilience to disaster through risk prevention and mitigation, as well as better preparedness and response and recovery at national and subnational and local levels. Eight, encourage governments and development partners to strengthen tools, methods, and processes for measuring the impact of disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation investments at regional, national, subnational, and local levels. Nine, call upon the RCC Secretariat, ADPC, to initiate the implementation of recommendations under the revised RCC technical and operational mechanism. 10. Request the RCC Secretariat, ADPC, to support the priorities of the RCC member countries highlighted in the Kathmandu Statement through its work under different programs and projects. And finally, 11. Express our deep appreciation to the excellent arrangements and leadership extended by the Government of Nepal as the host of the 14th RCC meeting.